Antonio Inoki popular Japanese professional wrestler and lawmaker, who faced world boxing champion and Louisville's own Muhammad Ali in a mixed martial arts match in 1976, has died at 79. Kanji Inoki born February 20, 1943 and died October 1, 2022 was a Japanese professional wrestler, martial artist, politician, and promoter of professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. He was best known by the ring name Antonio Inoki and homage to fellow professional wrestler Antonino Rocca. Inoki was a 12-time professional wrestling world champion, notably being the first IWGP heavyweight champion and the first Asian WWF heavyweight champion, a reign not officially recognized by WWE. Inoki brought Japanese pro wrestling to fame and pioneered mixed martial arts matches between top wrestlers and champions from other combat sports like judo, karate and boxing. Inoki who was battling a rare disease called amyloidosis, died earlier Saturday, according to the New Japan Pro Wrestling, of which he was the founding president. He rose to global fame in the sport in 1976 when he faced Muhammad Ali in a mixed martial arts match at Tokyo's Budokan Hall, an exhibition match that Japanese fans remember as, the fight of the century. To many of those outside Japan, however, the match was seen as unprofessional and not taken seriously. Anoki was mostly on the mat and kicking at Ali's legs as the boxing champion circled around him. He was the first in his sport to enter politics. He promoted peace through sports and made more than 30 trips to North Korea during his time as a lawmaker in hopes of forging peace and friendship. Anoki was upbeat and in good spirits, even as he was fighting the disease. With his trademark red scarf dangling from his neck, Anoki last appeared in public in August on a TV show, in a wheelchair. As you can see, I'm pushing myself to the limit, and I'm getting power as I get to see you, he said. Born as Kanji Inoki in 1943 in Yokohama, just outside Tokyo, he moved to Brazil with his family when he was 13 and worked at a coffee plantation. Inoki won local fame in shot put as a student, and debuted as a professional wrestler at 17 while on wrestling tour in Brazil where he captured the attention of Rikidozen, known as the father of Japanese pro wrestling. Inoki made his pro wrestling debut in 1960 and gave himself the ring name Antonio Inoki two years later. Anoki began his professional wrestling career in the 1960s for the Japan Pro Wrestling Alliance, the JWA, under the tutelage of Rikidozen. Anoki quickly became one of the most popular stars in the history of Japanese professional wrestling. He parlayed his wrestling career into becoming one of Japan's most recognizable athletes, a reputation bolstered by his 1976 fight against world champion boxer Muhammad Ali, a fight that served as a predecessor to modern-day mixed martial arts. In 1995, with Ric Flair, Anoki headlined two shows in North Korea that drew 165,000 and 190,000 spectators, the highest attendances in professional wrestling history. Anoki wrestled his retirement match on April 4, 1998 against Don Fry and was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2010. With his arch-rival and another Japanese legend, the late Shohei, Giant, Baba, Anoki made pro wrestling a hugely popular sport in Japan. Anoki founded New Japan Pro Wrestling in 1972. Anoki entered politics in 1989 after winning a seat in the upper house, one of Japan's two chambers of parliament, and headed the Sports and Peace Party. He traveled to Iraq in 1990 to win the release of Japanese citizens who were held hostage there. He also staged a pro wrestling match in North Korea. Anoki built a personal connection with North Korea over the years and visited the country repeatedly to help resolve Japan's long-standing issue of past abductions of Japanese nationals to the north. He retired as a wrestler in 1998, but remained active in politics until 2019. A huge star has fallen. An era has come to an end, tweeted at Sushi Onida, also a wrestler who once served as lawmaker. Onida called Anoki, the great father of pro wrestling, and added, Thank you Anoki-san. I express my condolences from the bottom of my heart. Yoshifu Arita, a journalist and former lawmaker, praised Anoki for his effort to resolve the abduction issue with the North. Another important route with North Korea is lost, Arita tweeted, as he criticized other former Japanese leaders for relying on useless connections and making no improvement. Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Anoki. Rest in peace Antonio Anoki. You will be missed. Thank you for watching. Please like subscribe and share and help me grow my channel. See you next time.